Hello students, welcome back. I am Dr. Mani Soni, your Dermatology faculty and today we will be discussing one question and the question is that acute febrile neutrophilic dermatosis is and the answer of this question is sweet syndrome and this is one image of a patient suffering from sweet syndrome okay so sometimes this question is asked regarding sweet syndrome and how to approach to this question so remember that these patients they present with so if we talk about the clinical features and if we talk about the cutaneous manifestations that is the manifestations in the skin they generally present with tender erythematous nodules or plaques so you will get tender erythematous nodules and plaques like you can see here these are tender erythematous that is red in color and they are solid raised lesions so they are nodules or plaques now remember that generally the patient who is suffering from sweet syndrome have association with so if we talk about the cause so generally the cause is unknown because this is a very rare condition but remember that in the etiology it is seen associated with so it is seen associated with leukemias like aml and there is predisposition for females so the occurrence is more common in females the ratio is 4 is to 1 and in the treatment of this condition the first line treatment is systemic corticosteroids like prednisolone for making diagnosis of this condition the histology is done and as the name itself is suggestive this is neutrophilic dermatosis okay so you will find dense diffuse neutrophilic infiltration in reticular reticular that is deep dermis okay so in reticular dermis without true vasculitic changes so true vasculitic changes are absent now remember one important point here that there is a genetic hla association also that is hla b 54 okay now if we talk about the diagnostic criteria for making the diagnosis of this condition it requires two significant findings one is sudden onset eruption of tender painful plaques or nodules as we have seen in the image and second neutrophilic infiltrate in the dermis without vasculitis as i told you in histological findings both must be present to establish a diagnosis of sweet syndrome for diagnostic confirmation of sweet syndrome there should be at least two minor criteria, which includes fever illness preceded by an upper respiratory or gastrointestinal infection or associated with an underlying typical inflammatory disorder or malignancy or pregnancy third elevated white cell count with neutrophilic predominance and elevated inflammatory markers and fourth is positive response to corticosteroids so two among these minor criteria should also be present so this is the diagnostic criteria for sweet syndrome okay so I hope this session was helpful for you. Thank you very much.